Have you guys ever wondered what these creature names mean? I mean, what is Sherebrooke? Like, we've been playing this game for years, but we don't even know what the, what, the, what the... So, obviously, I can't tell you guys, like, every single creature, which is why I'm gonna gather, like, the most popular creatures, like Cavaratus and Kendall, and tell you guys what their names stand for. This is very important, but, yeah, the truth is that uh, a lot of these names are, actually, like, mean absolutely nothing. Like, like they just made them up. The Cavaratus actually stands for just crab. In Greek, I'm pretty sure crab means Kavoras. I, I don't know where that this came from, but uh, we don't talk about that. Major Swimmer actually stands for water swimmer, but not exactly. Water swimmer in Japan, in Japanese, I mean, actually means Mizu Swimmer. So, yeah, they just, like, changed up a letter. Maybe because they were gonna get copyrighted by Japan or something. I don't know. Alright, so, Felicio. Now, now this one's not actually known, but I just wanted to tell you guys a fun little fact that I found out while I was researching this creature. So, I've been referencing this creature as Toothless a lot, but what I didn't know is that they literally made this creature off of Toothless. Yeah, Toothless was an inspiration for Felicio. Alright, now, Crataperitina. This thing has a pretty weird name. And it looks pretty weird. But there is actually an animal, a slug, called Cretana peregrina. And this is this is the Crata peritina, basically. This one just has legs. And I, I think its legs are really ugly. But yeah, that's actually cool. I didn't know that this was based off of like one real animal. Alright, now let's find out what Konomushi means. Uh, it pretty much stands for this insect. Yes, your favorite creature, Konomushi, actually just stands for this insect. But, that's not what they actually meant for it to stand for. They meant for it to stand for Leaf Insect, which actually means Konohamushi. So yeah, Konohamushi just stands for this insect. You you guys would not believe me if I told you. Alright, another fun little fact. I, I thought Xteri was based off of a crocodile. I mean, its old model really looked like a crocodile. But yeah, uh, it's based off of a Komodo dragon, actually. And now I can kind of see it, yeah, but before it, it, it really did not look like a lizard. Alright, now we gotta find out what the name Jeff stands for. It actually means God Peace. Uh, that's very, very interesting. Uh, I'm gonna move on. One thing that confuses me is that, man, I've been, like, trying to find out what this creature's name means. The Asylvis trailer. And it means nothing. Like, they just, like, they just made that up. Like, come on. Like, if a name was gonna be, like, that cool, make it stand for something. Alright, my least favorite creature name in Creatures of Sonoria. And I wanna find this out just because of that. Because what is this name, bro? Daiya Marjla. Daia Marjula. How do you even pronounce this? I don't know. But this this creature has like the worst letter combinations I've ever seen. And if it doesn't stand for something, I I'm quoting this game. It, it means nothing, unfortunately. The only thing I found that it could mean for is life and death, apparently. But yeah, I don't think I don't think they meant for it to mean that. Uh, it kind of looks like Pikachu. They, they, like, they made the worst name ever, and it doesn't even mean anything. Like, why, bro? Alright, Kevin Gao. Now, the only reason I'm picking this one is because it has two U's. There is no way the developers decided to just put an extra U for no reason. This has got to mean something, right? This banana creature. Alright, so, Caven... The Caven part is ba is basically banana, because there's a banana called Caven Dish. But the Gao? I don't know. The Gao is the part that annoys me, so... it It's even more annoying that it's the part I don't know. Wait, maybe it makes like a Gao sound. Th that's kind of a Gao. Okay, okay, I see why this is called Kevin Gao. It's Banana Gao. Alright, now Bizu. This one was actually really easy to find. It's just B and then Zoo from the Pokemon Zubat. So yeah, th that's actually cool. They made this name off of a Pokemon. And Opera Legion actually also has a Pokemon name. Um, but not not really. I mean, the Pokemon is called Basco Legion. And they made the Opera Legion off of that name. They just got the Opera because, I don't know. The, the person who made the name literally said he doesn't know. <laughs> Alright, now I've been looking forward to a very specific creature. And, uh... If, if this thing actually means nothing, like, I don't even know what to do anymore. There's no way this n the whole name means, like, nothing, right? I mean, right? So I thought the name would be really easy to find out what it means, but yeah, it's hard. I really didn't find anything except the concept art here says Serpent of Burning Sands. So that's probably, uh what it means in like a very weird language. I'm, I'm pretty sure there was another name with like a little uh, punctuation, quotation, whatever you call it. And I, I forgot what, um, I forgot what it was. Oh my god, there's a lot. There's the Sanaara. There's the Yebe Iri. 
there's the Sharay. I was not aware of that. I was not aware of this many creatures having the the what do you call it? the uh, oh there's also Oa Stryus and then there's Magmasto, but I think the Magmasto is the one I wanted to find out. I'm sure Oa means something. I mean if uh, I mean, if it didn't mean anything, they would they could just make it like Styrus, right? Instead of like Styrus. Like that's just weird. Alright, I researched it a little bit and this is very weird. So Oa means Another little fun fact, you guys see this Hushik? This was actually the content creator creature, or, or it was going to be. So it was made, uh, so it can become the content creator creature, and I think uh, we would have been pretty disappointed with that now. But no, because I think it's like really weak, they decided to just make it Ares. Alright, Celeridas. Uh, if I'm too lazy to pull up a picture, here it is. And Celeridas actually just means speed, uh, which is weird because it, it's like so slow, but yeah. Celeritas means speed in Latin. As you guys know, I've been kind of struggling to find out all these creature name meanings. So I think we should use a little bit of a different strategy. I'm gonna only like target the Japanese sounding names. Because all, all these like normal names like uh, Karol, Pero, they usually have like no meanings. But if a name sounds Japanese like that, Hemokai, I got you Hemokai. This, this has to mean something, Hemokai. Okay, let, let's search this up. Guys, I have great news, my strategy worked. I actually found out what the Hemokai means, easily. Because it's like a Japanese word and stuff. So, Hemokai actually stands for hungry. And uh, let me just... Let me just explain why they just called the creature Hungry. And yeah, it's not Japanese, I was kinda wrong. It's Maori. The reason it's called Hungry is because it was planned to be called, I mean when it was like being released, it was planned to be called Hamukai Stalkery. So Hamukai Stalkery would be called Hungry Stalker. So yeah, that would make sense, but then they didn't want to like make the name too long, I guess, so they just removed the Stalkery and, and they left Hamukai, so, so it's it's just hungry. But yeah, this is good, we're doing good. I think we should look for more Japanese looking names. Japanese. <gasps> this, this sounds so Japanese. Shiro. This has to be. No, no, no. I'm switching this up now. Okay. Apparently, it doesn't mean anything. I know what plant it was based off. So now I'm gonna like research the plant, which is uh, I think I'm going a little bit too far, but we gotta do it. So this is the plant they made Shiro of, and it's called Gloriosa Superba. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks like Shiro, but it doesn't matter. We gotta we gotta check these names out. Oh, this is this is a cool fact. Every part of the plant is actually poisonous. Like every single one, so if I eat this little thing over here, uh, please don't do that. I would get poisoned. That's that's so sick. This is becoming like an educational video now, but yeah, Shiro probably means nothing. And if it does mean something, then it has nothing to do with this plant, because like, I, I, I read like every word, trust me. Alright, uh, this this has to mean something, right? I mean like, it, it looks like a tribal, tribal thing. Alright, so I'm looking at the trivia a little bit over here, and the Sh Sherook's name was actually inspired by the Babadook. I, I have no idea what this is. Let's search it up. This has to be a tribal thing. Oh no, this is like a scary movie. I don't know if I could show this. Alright, so it's a little bit of a scary monster, but uh, yeah, I got the least scary picture because I don't want to show you guys those scary pictures. But yes, that, that is the Sherook, pretty much. Anyway, I think my uh, strategy is working out pretty well, and I know this doesn't sound Japanese, but... Somnia Ila sounds like it means something, so... Uh, uh, this was actually pretty obvious, I don't know how I didn't figure this out by myself, but... Uh, it says Somnia, which means dreams or sleep, and uh, yeah. You know what, there's something I've actually wondered. What is our most... what is our longest name? Mm, I'm just like, trying to scan which names get smaller. Oh my god, this one's small. The Acox Sturbox. I just realized I can spin the token around. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, this one has a super weird name, Nukifra Kuku. And I knew it. If you guys go on the coconut Wikipedia, you will find where it go. Oh yes, here it is. Kokokos, Kokos Nukifera. Actually, it is what the Nukifra Koku was based off. Basically, it goes Nukifra Koku. Yeah, that that's what they made the name off of. But yeah, I think that's enough names for today. We've been do we've been researching names for a while. But if you guys enjoyed, subscribe.